Tag, my fellow cultured people. Today, uh, this is my cardboard UMP45. Uh, it is pretty detailed and uh, spent a while on it, and I'm pretty happy with the result. So this time, I'm going to do something different than I, what I usually do. I'm going to tell you basically how I built this thing. Except that it's overly simplified. Hey, before we do it though, please check out our sponsor, the subscribe button. It would be great if you just click it. 80% of the sub people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you subscribed, I would have like 10,000 subs and that would be epic. So what are you waiting for? Click it with the bell on and share the video to your friends if you like. Yeah. So first of all, I started with this lower bit. I made it into a box. I added these pins and stuff. Then I added the grip and then the, uh, all the mag release stuff. And then I made the mag and the mag details. After that, I make this, I made these, this part, this whole part with the curve at the bottom. Wait, no, I have the curve at the bottom. And then I finished that, I made the bolt inside this thing. And I did mess up a little bit here, so that took me a while to fix. And then the top. And the charging handle, and here I did mess up this bit. I originally made it flat, like the bottom bit, but it's supposed to be curved, so I had to melt it down and fix it again. And that took me a long time as well, yay. And after that, I just finished off the tiny details. And that's pretty much it. And I made the stock, then I made this part, and the stock button, which I'll show you later. Guess what? I'll be doing a how-to video! Yeah! I'll post it someday. So let's look at the details and have a breakdown. We'll start from the back. So, here we have the very back bit curved a little bit. And then this is the inner bit of the stock. And then this is the stock button for the stock folding. This is just a fire selector that goes uh, safe, semi, full auto. There's a stop here that stops me from going too far. And yeah, curved grip as always, working trigger. And then bolt release that kind of, you can see it kind of works. It does no purpose, but it's just for just there to play with. Working mag release, as you can see, this uh, tab locks with this inside and it works this is spring loaded and this mag this time I added something different to it so as you can see there's a groove here and you can see something that looks like a spring because it is a spring it is a cardboard spring and yeah the mag spring loaded and you can probably load it but I didn't make ammo for this, so yeah. It clicks really nicely. This part here is uh, kind of hard to make, but I did it anyway somehow. I didn't bother with the front. Uh, the front is the same like this, but I just didn't bother because I can't be bothered. Um, HK UMP, uh, this thing is like put in there. And then the serial number, take a good look at this. The zero number, since this is a UMP45, I included a UMP45 source number. So go check it out if you want to see some good old <clears throat> time. And then before we go up, we'll just look at the front here. This is the front handguard. I didn't bother with the rails at the bottom and the sides because I like having a smooth grip and I'm lazy. Um, here we have this little stud here. I didn't bother with the sling attachments because I'm lazy again. And then um, here we have these nice slots for ventilation, whatever. And then here is the barrel with the uh, cone-shaped front. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And here we have a charging handle, which you can see nicely shaped and it's pretty strong. So the bolt and the bolt handle is two separate parts. Um, they don't connect, but they push on each other. So my bolt can open by itself. And it's spring loaded as you, I mean, it's not spring loaded, it's uh, loaded by a rubber band, so everyone can make it this time. And uh, the reason I didn't make these connect to each other is so that I can do this. I can lock it open and I can just pull it back down. And of course I can do HK slap. So here's how it works. Yeah. So this is independent to this, so this can rotate without having to worry about this so I'm gonna lock the bolt open so you can see there we go as you can see here there's this little hook with the rubber band that just connects the bolt so this is easily replaceable if like anything breaks I can just fix it 
so it's pretty cool and simple now as you can see here that's the barrel as well and i can just yeah there we go well that's it with the boat the boat's pretty detailed as well and yeah this gun is nice and at the top here we have the sights and the picatinny rail for red dot or scope whatever in the front side so here you can see there's a scope this is from my uh beowulf so it can just slide on to the picatinny rail nicely and now we have a scoped ump so here you can see there's a red dot and it doesn't fall out it's the real red dot it's heavy but the picatinny rail is strong enough this is the rear sight this is the normal sight it lines up well. and this one is kind of special because it flips up as well flips into an aperture which i know it's kind of hard to see with the camera but it works trust me and this is the front of the gun um you can see the barrels free floating which is cool and then this is the front bit and the top can you see that okay so here this is the stock it's foldable there's this button you press and then you just fold it and then uh, at the uh, shell ejector whatever bit at the front there's this cutout at the bottom of the stock that part now locks into this hook right here and it just hooks in and then you can have a foldable UMP45 so this is the inside of the gun I didn't really put that much inside because it's strong enough this is the guide rod you can probably see that I don't know if you can if you can't I'll just put a picture but yeah that's the guide rod and then this is all the insides and then the stock just folds on this hinge and then this is the stock button it's like a triangle it's this is a ramp that can just i can just slide it in easily and there we go folded simple nice and if i have to unfold just press the button in and there we go so thanks for watching to the end uh if you enjoyed it subscribe share to your friends like and comment and i will see you cultured people in the next one goodbye